Lesson four, practice problems. Number one, here's a picture of a Ferris wheel. It has a diameter of 80 meters. On the picture, draw and label a diameter. Well, that's not too bad. I'm gonna draw a diameter. Boom, I'm done. No, that's not a diameter. You know better than that, right? Diameter has to go all the way through the circle, has to go through the middle. Right there, and the end points have to be and the end, that's the diameter. All right, so that is that. Uh, how far does a rider travel in one complete rotation around this Ferris wheel? Well, it says up here that the diameter is about 80 meters. So we're going to apply circumference. So circumference, what does that equal? Circumference equals pi times diameter, right? Pi times diameter. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna do 3.14 times 80. Times 80, 3.14 times 80. And I get 251.2. And that's gonna be meters. That's it. Oh my god, I just noticed this. What is going on with this picture? I, maybe this is just on my copy. When you zoom in, holy, you see that? There's a kid hanging from this Ferris wheel. I wonder if the people that took this picture knew that. That's very strange. Very strange. Why is there a kid hanging? That's very unsafe. I think the people at that amusement park should be, should know about that. I hope that kid's not still hanging there. All right. Number two, identify each measurement as the diameter, radius, or circumference of the circular object. Then estimate the other two measurements for the circle. All right. <clears throat> so we're given, we want to know what we're given here. So the length of a minute hand on the clock. Well, given that a lot of middle schoolers don't even know how to read a clock, the minute hand is the longest hand on the clock longest hand. The shortest hand is the hour, but the minute hand is, that looks like a radius, doesn't it? So that is the radius. So the radius is five inches, which means that the diameter is going to be double that. So if the radius is five, the diameter will be five times two, ten inches. All right, and then the circumference Circumference is going to be 3.14 times 10, which is 31.4 inches. So all the way around the circle, all the way around the clock, is going to be 31.4 inches. All right, the distance across a sink drain. Now, a sink drain is just a circular hole in your sink, right, where the water goes down. So uh, this appears to be describing a diameter. So the diameter is 3.8 centimeters. All right, so that means the radius is going to be half of that, half of that. <clears throat> so let's do 3.8 divided by 2, right? Just do 3.8 divided by 2, and you get 1.9, 1.9 right there. Got 1.9 centimeters, and what else do we got? We've got um, oh, we got to figure out circumference. Sorry about that. So circumference is going to be pi times diameter. So 3.14 times 3.8. So 3.14 times 3.8, that equals 11.932. So C for circumference is 11.932 centimeters. All right.
the tires on a mining truck. Now the tires are, whether it's the tires on a mining truck or if it's on a go-kart, doesn't matter. Uh, tire is describing diameter, at least what this is doing. So the diameter is 14. That's a big tire, by the way, 14 feet tall. They would even fit in the classroom. That's taller than the ceiling. Uh -huh. All right, and then the radius. My goodness, that really trips out, doesn't it? The radius is going to be half of that. So half of 14 is 7 feet. Okay, so that's your tire. That's 14 feet. And then the radius is 7, right? So you have something like that. The circumference the circumference is going to be um, we're going to do 3.14 times diameter 3.14 times 14 that's 43.96 So that's almost 44 feet around. All right, uh, the fence around a circular pool. All right, so this is a fence. Any type of fence is usually referring to perimeter. Um, and now perimeter of a circle isn't. Really, we don't really call it perimeter. We call it circumference. That's where pi comes from. It's the Greek letter for P for perimeter. Perimeter of a circle is circumference. So circumference is 75 feet. That's a given. All right. So the diameter, uh, the diameter, I'm just going to do 75 divided by 3.14. That's what I'm going to do. Kind of write down what I'm doing here. I'm going to do 75 divided by pi, 3.14, and that should give me the diameter. 75 divided by 3.14 equals 23.88. So I'll make that like 23.9. Holy cow. 23.9 right there. And then the radius will be half that. So I'm going to keep that number in my calculator. I'm just going to hit divide by 2. And I get 1, I get 11.9 feet. I should be leaving my answers. The diameter from the tip of a slice of pizza to its crust. All right, that sounds like, you know, we're looking at. This right here, and here's the, here's the crust. So that sounds like it's describing the radius. So tip of the pizza. Pardon my my pencil here. It's really really flips out. But that's describing the the radius right there. So the radius is given. That's um, seven inches. The diameter is going to be double that. It's going to be 14 inches. 14 inches. And then the circumference is going to be 7.9. The circumference is going to be pi times diameter. Did I just do 14? Yeah. That's going to be 43.96, but this could be inches. That's your circumference. Breaking a cookie in half straight uh, creates a straight side 10 centimeters long. So a cookie, I would just bet that you know we're we're describing here what appears to be diameter. Okay? So diameter equals 10 centimeters. 
the radius is half that, five centimeters. The circumference before it was cut in half was 3.14 times diameter, which is 31.4 centimeters. All right, for G, the, the length of a metal rim around a glass lens. All right. Metal rim. So the length of a metal rim around a glass lens is 190 millimeters. And that is uh, around? That sounds like circumference to me. So 190 millimeters. And then I'm just going to, to get diameter, I'll just divide that by pi. Let's divide 190 divided by 3.14. So I get 60. So I get 60. Point, I'll just round it. 60.5. I got 60.50955. So I'm going to do 60.5 divided by 2, and that's going to be for the radius 30.25. From the center to the edge of a DVD, that's radius. The radius is 60. So that means the diameter is double that, 120 millimeters. The circumference is going to be diameter times 3.14. So I'm going to do 3.14 times 120. And our circumference is 376.8 millimeters. Sounds like a lot, but it's really just mm -hmm. 37 centimeters. All right. Half circle is joined to an equilateral triangle with side lengths of 12 units. What is the perimeter of this resulting shape? Well, the side lengths are 12. That makes it easy. So that's 12. That's 12. And I know this, you know, right here, that's part of the triangle too, and that's 12. And that's also describing the diameter, isn't it? That's describing the diameter of that half circle, uh, which was once a full circle, right? It was once a full circle like that. Not so badly drawn, but it was once a full circle. And um, so what is the perimeter around it? Well, we're just going to do for this one um, well, perimeter uh, circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. Pi times diameter. But this is a half circle, so I'm going to do pi times diameter divided by 2. So I'm going to do 3.14 times 12 and divide that by 2. And I get 18.84. So this is units, generic unit right there. It's just anything. So that's 18.84 around that curved part, right? Around the semicircle part. Um, and then you're just going to add 12 plus 12. So we're going to do 18.84 plus 24. And you get 42.84. All right. So that's your perimeter. 42.84 units. All right.
Circle A has a diameter of one foot. Circle B has a circumference of one meter. Which circle is bigger? All right, so um, which circle is bigger? All right, so let's see here. So if I'm not going to draw this to scale, but here's circle A. And it's saying that this right there, that is one foot. Okay, so that's one foot. So if you do circumference, that's going to be 3.14 times diameter times one. And that's challenging. That's going to be 3.14 feet, right? And then circle B, they make, uh, there's no mystery about that one. That one says the circumference is one meter. That's one meter, okay? So isn't, isn't 3.14 greater than one meter? But wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. This is feet, and this is meters. So I better make sure they're um, in the same unit. So um, feet to meters, let me just make sure. So yeah, that's so one foot, one foot is about 0 0.030, so 305 thousandths of a meter. All right, and so if I just multiply that by 3.14, you'll see what happens, right? So if you just So I'm going to do 0 0.305 times 3.14, because I want to figure out, right here, I want to figure out how many meters this is. Okay, I want to figure out if it's greater than one or less than one. So I'm going to do 0 0 .0, uh, 0 0.305 times 3, I keep hitting the wrong number, 0 0.305 times 3.14. And I got, and as well as you, I got 0.95, I got 0.9577 meters, which is less. It's 10 you. Okay, I'll be right out. Okay. All right, so 0.977 meters. All right, so what's longer? <coughs> what's longer? Circle B. All right. Uh, the circumference, I gotta get out of here. I'm being kicked out of this building. I'm here too late. But we've got on this one uh, 72 inches. So circumference is 72. So I'm just gonna do 72 divided by 3.14. All right, to get the diameter. So 72. Twenty-two point nine two nine nine. All right, so about basically twenty-two point nine inches. 